to create insanely great products, in Steve Jobs' words, is the ultimate competitive advantage. But a lot of companies, if not most, struggle to create those great products and services on time, with high quality, and with the least waste. Fortunately, there's lean product and process development, a set of uh, powerful principles and practices that will help any company uh, create insanely great products and processes. Here to tell us more are John Drogos and Katrina Appel, coaches with LEI's Lean Product and Process Development Initiative. John is a PhD with over 20 years of lean manufacturing, product development, and management experience in aerospace, automotive, energy, car rental industries, among others. Katrina has a PhD in industrial and operations engineering and previously was a coach in the Lean for Clinical Redesign program at Michigan Medicine. Katrina, John, thanks a lot for coming in during this uh, annual Lean Product and Process Development uh, Conference to share your insights with us. Thanks for having us. Okay. First question, I was wondering, just what are the core principles of Lean Product and Process Development? Well, there are actually four core principles that uh, we start with. Uh, the first one, obviously, being to really deeply understand what the product must be. Otherwise, all the rest is truly waste. The second part then is to create flow and really eliminate waste to get speed and precision of that product to the marketplace. And then the uh, third principle is creating new value. So when we're creating new products, we have to create new value because if we already knew what we had needed, we wouldn't need to create a new product, it already exists. And the last um, and most important principle is that it's all about people. So it's the people that do the development, and so how do we create enabling structures and systems to enable them to bring their best selves to work? Okay, good. Now with each of those uh, core principles, there are tools. What are some of the, the tools uh, that go with those principles? I think there are practices and techniques and there are tools, um, and there are, the principles are the same as lean in manufacturing and other places, but mm -hmm. the techniques are a little bit adapted. But we also are very cognizant to be cautious about throwing tools at a problem. So we always say sure. lean is very situational, especially in product development. So really try and understand what is the problem or challenge you're trying to um, solve and then use the right techniques at the right point. So case in point, if we're struggling with deeply understanding what our product must be, we certainly have techniques to bring the bear, such as a concept paper. If we're having trouble uh, with flow and um, trying to eliminate waste for speed to market. We have techniques like value stream mapping to help us do those things, mm -hmm. for example. Yeah, and some of the other principles is, if some of your problems are around communication and effective collaboration, OBEY is a great tool for that. And so it really is the, what's the right tool to be using at the right time? And throughout development, the work changes, and so the tools need to change throughout that process. Even the same tool, such as OBEYA, should look a lot different in the early concepting phase than it does in the later execution phases. Okay, and OBEY is a Japanese word for? for big room, it's okay. large room, but it's come in lean PD to be a lot more than just a room. It's an effective space for collaboration. Okay. Okay, great, excellent. Um, and why is it important to apply these to uh, uh, product development? I think as you kind of in, said in your introduction, Chet, uh, a lot of companies are struggling with mm -hmm. trying to get their products or services, for that matter, to market faster. And you know, as we see, the best opportunity to really add value is right from the beginning. So we see that a lot of the companies, as they're trying to execute their product development process, we want to get that value in the hands of the customer as quickly as we can, and also at the right cost for us to make money. Most organizations are also struggling with the cost side. And on the product development front, uh, we certainly find that um, the LPPD techniques, we can influence the overall cost much more so in the development phase. In fact, uh, as we're developing the product, we're also developing the future value stream. So what oh, okay. better time than now to do that? Yeah, that's the time. That's the time. Um, Katrina, how about the, um, any is this only for manufacturing, or can you give examples from outside manufacturing? No, it's certainly also very applicable in services. So when you're designing a new product or process, you're designing that service as well. So any situation, you can use these principles. We've seen it um, used very effectively in healthcare and in insurance and oh, okay. really is applicable anytime you need to develop a new product or yeah. service. That's quite a range too, healthcare and insurance. and John, um, let me let me ask you then. What's the? Uh, you got me convinced. I want to implement lean product and process development uh, in my manufacturing or service operation. So what's the first step for me? 
Well, I think the first step is really um, to try and understand the current situation. What is the problems and challenges that your organization is facing um, in order to make sure that you take that first step in the right direction? Um, we see a lot of companies struggle by throwing the wrong tool, um, searching for the problem to solve. So for us, we certainly believe that uh, understanding the current situation and understanding that work up front will then allow you to then decide what that most important first step would be. Okay, good point. So I'm convinced, I know the first step now, if I want to learn more, uh, what can I do? Where should I go? There's certainly lots of apps to learn more. Um, cer certainly a few books out you can read, and there's great articles on the leanpd.org website. We also have a workshop that we're teaching in September, which is a two-day um, immersive experience with lean product process development. So it gives you a chance to experience all four of the principles across the different phases of development, starting with concept through execution. Okay. Katrina and John, thanks a lot for coming in, taking time, and sharing your insights. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for watching. To learn more about uh, lean product and process development, go to leanpd.org. That's leanpd.org. And uh, sign up for Jim Morgan's uh, monthly e-letter on lean development and help yourself to the other resources that are there. And while you're there, pick up a copy of the practical and insightful uh, designing the future. It'll show you how other companies are uh, leveraging product development for enterprise change.